Hi guys, so this is the continuation. So start na natin guys. Or select more colors. A dialog box will appear. Select a color. Click OK. You can use the fill color feature to format columns and rows and format a worksheet so it's easier to read. To format numbers and dates, select the cell or cells you want to format. Left click the drop down arrow next to the number format box. Select one of the options for formatting numbers. By default, the numbers appear in the general category which means there is no special formatting. In the number group, you have some other options. For example, you can change the US dollar sign to another currency format. Switch numbers to percent, add commas, and change the decimal location. Creating simple formulas. Excel can be used to calculate and analyze numerical information. However, you will need to know how to write formulas to maximize Excel's capabilities. A formula is an equation that performs a calculation using values in the worksheet. In this lesson, you will learn how to create simple formulas using mathematical operators such as the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division signs. To create a simple formula that adds two numbers, click the cell where the formula will be defined C5 for example. Type the equal sign to let Excel know a formula is being defined. Tap the first number to be added. Type the addition sign to, to let Excel know that an add operation is to be performed. Type the second number to be added. Please press enter or click press enter or click the enter button on the formula bar to complete the formula. If the result of a formula is too large to be displayed in a cell, it may appear as pound signs instead of a value. This means that the column is not wide enough to display the cell content. Simply increase the column width to show the cell content. Excel will not always tell you if your formula contains an error, so it's up to you to check all of your formulas. To create a simple formula that adds the contents of two cells, click the cell where the answer is where, where the answer will appear C5 for example. Type the equal sign to let Excel know a formula is being defined. Type the cell number that contains the first number to be added C3 for example. Type the addition sign to let Excel know that an add operation is to be performed. Type the cell address that contains the second number to be added, C4 for example. Press enter or click the enter button on the formula bar to complete the formula. To create a simple formula using the point and click method, click the cell where the answer will appear, C30 for example. Type the equal sign to let Excel know a formula is being defined. Click on the first cell to be included in the formula C5 for example. Type the subtraction sign to let Excel know that a subtraction operation is to be performed. Click on the next cell in the formula C29 for example. Press enter or click the enter button on the formula bar to complete the formula. To create a simple formula that multiplies the contents of two cells. Select the cell where the answer will appear, E32 for example. Type the equal sign to let Excel know a formula is being defined. Click on the first cell to be included in the formula, C9 for example, or type a number. Type the multiplication symbol by pressing the shift key and then the number 8 key. The operator displays in the cell and formula bar. Click on the next cell in the formula or type a number 12 for example. Press enter or click the enter button on the formula bar to complete the formula. To create, divide one cell by another. Click the cell where the answer will appear. Type the equal sign to let Excel know a formula is being defined. Click on the first cell to be included in the formula. Type a division symbol, the operator displays in the cell and formula bar. Click on the next cell in the formula. Press enter or click the enter button on the formula bar to complete the formula. 
So, yun na muna for now, guys. Bye!